Nagatacho has been rocked by party chair Ogi Kubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Long a central figure in politics, Ogi Kubo was the prime minister's last ally in keeping parliament together. An election shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new citizens' liberal party and a new cabinet. The prime minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Rio Aoki to Ogi Kubo's now vacant post. Aoki will be the first sitting governor to also serve as the ruling party's chair. This bold move is sure to have ripple effects. How are you feeling, former chairman? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. My sign says no visitors. <laughs> oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broken? For example, counterfeiting. Your crimes put the entire national economy at risk. Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Hundreds. Any politician can say they built a road or passed a law. But how many can say they caught people who fell through the cracks? You think you're talented enough to do that in my stead? <laughs> oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very differently compared to you. For example, I managed to fit your downfall to my already very busy schedule. A governor as the party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh. Everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like you. But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by me. Spoken like a true amateur. <laughs> amateur, huh? Let me ask you, do you remember my first election ten years ago? I asked you for the Citizens Liberal Party endorsement. You insulted me. Your exact words were, Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics. Your home district is Kanagawa's second, isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you, Bleach Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election cycle. And he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. So, how does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Our candidate's victory in Kanagawa's District 2 is all but certain. So I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of course, we'll probably lose half the population. Are you calling the people of Ijin Show trash? I'm calling them disposable. Pardon me? What did you call them? People who fell through the cracks? Can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the Grey Zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home. And they failed. That's what makes them disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement, my former chair. I truly wish that for you. <sighs> I hope you'll visit Ijincho after its beautiful new developments are complete. You'll hardly recognize it. And I can't wait to see the look on your face when you see it. She's giving him a him heart attack. Right? Okay, he didn't die. Oof. Kind of changed my opinion about Ogi Kubo. Doesn't seem to have any intentions. Despite Young Master.
Wow. Loading just so, for this. Is your hideout? Yep, go ahead. Make yourself at home. I'd love to, but uh where could I even do that? Yes. The square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards for a couple of pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I mean, it's freaking Jungi Han. Hey, where are the rest of your people now that Komi Jewel HQ is gone? They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jun Gihan is staying here, since his place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Qing Chen after stepping down from the Liu Meng. Wouldn't have sent the right message. So, I'm joining the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? Kasuga-kun, haven't you seen the news? No, I haven't had the time. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation in Ijincho, hell all of Japan, is golden after the Komi Jewel thing. What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite peril, brave Bleach Japan topples Komi Jewel Gang. Grassroots org achieves what police never could. Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. The reports say that Komi Jewel committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. He's dead? Wait, what happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... <gasps> Wait, did they? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. <laughs> that guy? A hero? Why they kill him? Because he squawked like a bird when you interrogated him. Why wouldn't they off the guy? Now they're just milking his death for all it's worth. Honestly, it's a brilliant move, making it look like he died in the Komi Jewel fire. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye. And Bleach Japan gets a nice, tragic death to go on about. Ah, <sighs> damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. But what can we do? Go to the police and explain how we abducted Ogasawara? What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. No, they would just book our asses. So Aoki has everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. Young master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. And they were right. The public thinks Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Komijo and the Liu Mong are going to be extinct in Ijincho. And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? Arakawa-san? Oh. He's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, you'll need strong allies. M more than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> well then. But isn't Masumi Arakawa the man who shot you? The boss wasn't trying to kill me. He shot me so I could live. 
Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. But right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. We need to stock up on money and supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. Yay, new party member. Now only Songku is uh, left out. I wonder if we get her in the team. Uh, with the fall of the Great Wall of Muscle and Yokohama's rising crime raid, the city's villains grow even more powerful beyond the lookout as you may encounter formidable never before seen foes. Okay, so guess I need to grind, huh? Okay, but a lot of enemies who drop quest have been showing up lately. Um, here's the Dojo Clan bad heads with more than just a few folks around town. Hunt these guys down and snack yourself some crests. Zhao, uh, rather the Commanding experience as our leader of Yokohama Lumen has toughened up against bleeding. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Now I need to change my party because, um, Max. Gangster. Okay. Mm. He needs better weapon. I use this on him. Oh no, no. Dexterity, huh? Oh, who knows? Maybe it's good. Maybe I should. I think I'll boot, huh? Okay, he needs better weapon. And I think there is another thing I need to do here. Yo! A perfect timing, Kasuga-san. There's something I must tell you. Huh? I believe I mentioned that a group was looking for me in and around Ijincho, and that the Komijo were looking into their motives and identities. Yeah, I remember you saying that. You learn anything new? Yes. It seems they've disappeared from Ijincho. They've avoided the Komijo's nets at every turn. Hmm, well, drinks on me then. It's not over yet. You sure look calm. Hmm. Well, you sure as shit look calm. Or is that just me? <laughs> How very observant of you. So what's your take on all this? It's possible that the group in question has left the city. And I imagine it's because they found their target. Their target? What I mean is... I believe my enemies have already ascertained my location 
and are waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Huh. If that's the case, then they're quite skilled. They've managed to elude the Komijul's eyes this whole time. But that's bad news, right? Yes. And for you and everyone else around me, we could fall right into their hands at any moment. Okay, but that's only if we sit around and wait, right? What? <laughs> no point in being such a stranger. We'll lend you a hand. Let's find these creeps together. Hit them before they hit us. You feel me? The Komijul have been looking into their whereabouts. Even so, they've proven quite difficult to find. Finding them on our own won't be easy. So you really think they're Jingong Mafia remnants? You were saying something about that last time, right? That they might be after you because you're using your old boss's name? Yes. I have no reason to deny that given the circumstances. Then why not drop the Junki Han thing and go back to being Yongsu Kim? I'm guessing there's some reason you can't do that. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, there's nothing preventing me from doing so. I simply wish to continue being Junki Han. Even if it means being hunted down? I don't wish to get you or the others involved in the Jingon Mafia's troubles. But it appears to be too late, so I may be troubling you already. Everyone should be on their guard. My pursuers could attack at any time. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to or something? I'm sorry? We've tangled with both the Yijing Three and the Omi Alliance guys. We couldn't let our guards down even if we wanted to. Adding the Jingong Mafia to that list ain't gonna make us any less ready. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it seems our little party is much tougher than I expected. Then, I'm amongst reliable friends. Maybe I am allowed to trouble you after all. <laughs> so what now? Do we toast to our new friendship yet? No, I won't be getting that close. It would be out of character for Jungi Han. <laughs> Keep putting yourself on a pestle like that and we'll start leaving you out. <laughs> oh, it's not over yet. I thought it was level 4 already. Okay, not like I intend to change your job. Okay, let's go. Red level three. Hmm. There are new things here. Hero missions. Some quests. Where's main quest? Huh. There is no main quest? There is no main quest marker. Okay, so I will just go around. Hey Ichiban, how are you doing? Hey. I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Oh, good, good. Can I ask you for a favor, though? Sure. I think you could take out the trash for me. Human trash. Hmm? Trash? I don't mind, but why? Oh, I'm just cleaning house at my place and there's some stuff I don't need anymore. No rush. Stop by when you have time. I can't leave it all. I wait for you at my place. I believe in huh? Yes, I head to Hamako's place after I wrap things up. Well, the persimmon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga san. Huh? You're Kanako chan's father. How's Kanako chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. 
Uh, Kanako, come here. Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh, and it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah? Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, look! It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Kanako-chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes. <laughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanako-chan. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing she didn't die when he buy that. Wow, impound mate. Didn't expect this dude to actually pop up. Okay, so this quest is done. Why not? I think I need to recruit 18 of them. 20, I mean. Um, it's not this. Ten of them. I need to recruit two more. Okay. Do I have marker? I have now. Cool. I wonder if I should go uh, get some better weapons for Zhao. I'll just go with this. I mean, it's not that far. Maybe I at least... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I can actually check it on my phone. What's the point of going if there is no weapon for him? Uh, this is gangster, right? There is, but I don't have silver scorpions. Or I can do this one, even better. Actually, I can. Okay. Ah. 
craft weapon. Just touch. Uh, it works, right? I strengthen it. I cannot. Hmm. This part I don't like. Like there are specific things that can be upgraded and other that can be even crafted or upgraded. Okay, you got a new weapon. Maybe I should actually save some money in ATM, ATM, because I don't know how much stronger my enemies are right now. Let's <laughs> save for but to be sure. Oh, it's keeping. There you are. Guess I get my uh, first time here. Twenty-eight. Damn, they really get up at levels, and they should be like level nine. Um, Oh yeah, and Zhao, I didn't see any of his skills because he's near. Let's start with this one. Okay. I'm getting stronger! Actually, I don't think I need to level up them. They are... They are level up enough. Okay, do I... Need to talk you, Hamakusan. No, it triggers. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamakusan, what's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you, big, strong men, might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? I'm closing up shop. Huh? <laughs> uh, Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay, and perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. 
Come on, Hamako-san. Don't you remember what they put you through? Yeah, sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Rio Aoki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, yep. seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. Yep. But you don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Sure we know. Besides, you got some better option for my girls? Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to a gene chart today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? Time to hunt him down. A good guy. The guy who's got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. You know him better than you. The young master here in the Gene Show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Yeah, me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful yep. man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. And we let hang her. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there. Yeah, we never come here again. <laughs> oh, there you are, Cat Lady. See how how strong they are. Watch me. Sure you can beat me? Okay. You're in it now. Just gonna stand there. Hold up. Who you want to go? Watch close now. Oh shit, I will this kill. Forgot that this is a less. You sure you can beat me? Hmm. Can you gather a bit more? Please. Please gather more. Yes, no. I start wondering why Xiao needs weapon if his moves are 
or about uh, martial arts. Why do you even need that weapon? Huh? Good morning, looks like you had a good night's sleep, haha. <laughs> Huh. Wait. Mm. Watch me. They respawn way too quickly. Martial arts doesn't use his weapon. Why the hell you need weapon then? Oh, this Junki Junki Fun is using his fists, so it makes sense. But there should be Kappa here. Oh, here it is. I was going. For farming purposes, this is good. I just spam so I can fight infinitely. Uh, but for exploring, this is actually pretty annoying. Can go, you cannot explore because they. After a few seconds, they just respawn. It's not that far away. A bit weird. Right here? No, it's here. Ogasawara kun. I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? Sure. No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. We interrogated him. <laughs> they aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho, a city of his heart and soul. How about... Uh, buying sniper sniper rifle, and you just prepare for the young master. You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family, and I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people. Which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death. And yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth. As your peer who shared your ambitions. But most of all... Hey, Doctor. Simply as a friend, 
you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. Yeah, and you probably killed him yourself. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. This asshole. I say this not as the Citizens Liberal Party Chair, but for you. Ogasawara Kun, as your friend who would see your dream come true. I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Free Jincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now and smile down on us from heaven. <sighs> Special effects by Doctor. <laughs> Another loading emote. Wziął. Seven. I wonder how, how many of them it will be. Probably one more person, right? Close to the end. Ogasawara san. We will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor really cares he's in more grief than anyone here and he still gave a speech strong man given a strong eulogy if Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death well then he's quite the actor yep bastards grooming Kume for political office what the hell is his plan hey there he is Let's move. That's a bold and stupid move. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Alkison, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Alkison. Clear the way. What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push. All right, folks, let him through. Let him through. Alki. Hey, Governor Alki. That's <sighs> no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's got to have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you going to find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great. Let's check it out. 